Often we see social media as a vector for attack, a means to an end. We see this in forms such as spreading malware or misinformation. Like in May of 2016 when LinkedIn was hacked and as a result 117 million credentials were exposed. In 2017, Vivo was hacked by a phishing attack and 3.12 terabytes of company sensitive data was exfiltrated. Or more recently, when Twitter was hacked in July 2020 and influential accounts were used in a Bitcoin theft operation. This wasn't the first time social media was used to get victims to send some digital currency to attackers. In August of 2017, Slack was hacked and as a result, a half million in Ether coins were stolen. So what motivates these actors to attack social media platforms? Well, there are several reasons, just as there are for any platform to be attacked. I will be briefly touching on the three most likely motivators according to 2020 threat trends. Number one, financial gains. Not only do attackers use phishing to gather information on targets from social media, but they can also use it to target accounts of officials for a social media platform. The greatest example of this form of threat happened to Twitter in July of this year. On July 15, 2020, employees of Twitter were targeted through a spear phishing attack. As a result of this attack, Twitter accounts for influential people such as Barack Obama and Elon Musk were hacked and used as a platform for a Bitcoin scam. The motivator here appeared to be financial in nature. Number two, mass audience targeting. Over the years, it has become increasingly popular to use hacking accounts as a way to target mass amounts of people. This year, you may have heard of the Roblox hack, where hackers took over gaming accounts to spread pro-Trump election propaganda. Lesser known is the Reddit hacks that also happened this year with the same motivator. Reddit moderator accounts were targeted and hacked in order to spread pro-Trump propaganda on popular subreddits to reach a large mass of people. Number three, cyber warfare. It's commonly known that Russia was hacking and spreading misinformation in 2016 for the US presidential election. According to Microsoft, Russia state-backed hackers have been engaging in attacks against campaigns and parties for the upcoming election. Senate Intelligence Vice Chair Mark Warner stated at a cybersecurity conference that Russia tried to exasperate the divisions between the political parties to create disparity by creating fake accounts on social media. Now, Russia is not the only country to be engaging in this activity. Iran, as a result of the killing of one of their Iranian commanders, have been sponsoring social media disinformation campaigns. On top of these three motivators, there are several reasons to attack a social media platform. I hope this short video was able to help you gain insight into some of the threats that social media platforms face.